Hey, so in this video, I wanted to show you another cool thing to do working with the slides from Content Sparks um, to make things more interesting with these smart art graphics that we give you. So wherever possible, you want to use a little bit of animation to make your videos look more interesting. And we do give you the smart art, uh, and you, but you don't want to show the whole thing at once because, you know, it's just too much for people to look at. So what you can do is highlight the whole smart art graphic, then go into animations and you can have things say fly in or float in or all sorts of different things. But let's just try the fly in, but you don't want it to fly in all at once, obviously, because again, it's the same issue. So if you go into effect options at the top here, click the down arrow, and you can see you can do it one by one. So you do it that way and one thing at a time is going to show up. And then you also want to make sure on that, that it is by click. So over on the right here where it says start on click, then when you actually go through the presentation, you'll just click one thing to the next. So let me see if I can show you that. If we go into slideshow, and then click on from current slide. I'm going to do that. You can see it, it'll advance to just be a blank screen and then you immediately would click for the first one. So this is going to be all about uh, making your blog posts look interesting because it's our, from our course on blogging mastery. So you would talk about how different ways to break up the text and make it look interesting. Then you talk about the importance of line breaks talk about images and talk a little bit about the importance of those and how they engage people, then bulleted lists and, and so on. So you go through and then you'd, when you're done talking about each one, you move on to the next slide. So I'm just going to escape out of that. And that's basically it. I mean, really simple. You can do that for any of the smart art graphics. Again, you just highlight it. You go into animations, you pick one of the animations. So let's try another one. Um, uh, you can have it just appear. That's kind of boring. Let's try another one. I don't know. I don't use most of these, but then go into effect options and again, one by one. And let's, uh, that's kind of cool actually too. That's the zoom one. So it's set on click. I'll show you that again. We'll go into slideshow from current slide and you'd start talking first about keywords. Okay. So on this one, I don't like the zoom mainly because it's putting these extra box um, boxes on it. So maybe I'd use a different one, but you can see, you can see the point and how this would work and make your videos more interesting because when you record this, that's how it's going to show up in the video as well. So I hope that was helpful and I'll uh, create more of these for you if you like it.